Good afternoon, folks. Today we're going to hit a story from this last week and remind everyone of what the most critical fact on the topic is. Do we blame an impactor for the Younger Dryas, or was this the disaster cycle? The story about shocked quartz indicating an airburst 12,000 years ago brought back the topic of conversation. Most of you know where I stand. It's not that there isn't something that breaches into Earth's atmosphere, it's about what that thing is. I fully still stand behind the notion that the impactor hypotheses are wrong. And to dive back into that discussion, let's rewatch here a part of a video I did a few years ago on the impactor cycle. We'll wrap up afterwards. See you in a minute after this blast from the past. The impactor cycle itself is a bit hard to explain, especially with the long progression of the magnetic event so far in the next one unfolding now and no comet in sight. Of course, the geomagnetic excursion cycle is actually a long solar cycle harmonic. But one thing that confused many listeners was the impactor cycle itself. They didn't know there was one. This was also the case back in 2019 when the presser for the redating of an Australian crater described the approximately 13,000 year cycle. So what are some of the key impactors in that cycle matching the magnetic excursions? Well, first, that paper on the Australian crater redated Meteor Crater in Arizona as well to be 10,000 years older. So with that, let's go check out the major impactors during those cycles. There are excellent candidates for great impacts within each range of the magnetic excursion cycles. And with the changing of Meteor Crater, we actually have the Greenland Vostok event 60,000 years ago with its first great candidate. Haven't had one before. The Mono Lake event 36,000 years ago has no good candidates, a skipped cycle. 24,000 years ago, green is the one in Africa, the one with such crazy isotopes there's actually an 18,000 year error range on it, but right in the middle, we find it here. And to get such wild isotope distribution with a simple impactor is challenging further. The idea here is that it's not a cyclic comet and it's not an asteroid field we cyclically pass through. This ongoing solar system shift of galactic magnetism has been affecting the planets and sun for a while. And at the 12,000 year cycle harmonic of the sun's long cycle, there is a solar micronova, which makes the isotopes and the microtectites, which pushes the asteroids from their paths and makes its own impactors out of its own shedded shell as it cools and congeals through space. So yes, folks, it appears that impactors are on a cycle as well with the disaster, and that presents a significant kink in the impactor theory. These cycles not only involve geomagnetic changes on Earth and magnetic activity cycles of the sun, but impactors and several other factors that you simply can't blame on a comet or an asteroid. Hopefully some of you remember this chart, everything that happens on the 12,000 year cycle and which causes would or wouldn't explain them. The two big glitches in the impactor hypothesis, in addition to it being on a cycle, are the nova level isotopes found in these disaster layers and the geomagnetic excursion that happens as well. Impactors cannot make nova level isotopes. Only a stellar explosion can do that, hence the name. And nothing about an impactor could change the geomagnetic circumstance of a planet, especially since they don't just go from calm to excursion and pole shift in one day. The magnetic changes happen gradually over decades. However, if you have done the homework, you know the galactic current sheet can trigger this gradual shift throughout a solar system while culminating in a micronova from the sun that produces its own impactors. You have to be able to explain all the evidence. The only way to do that is with the sun and the galactic magnetic reversal, which is currently impacting the entire solar system. These will obviously be critical topics we plan to include in the documentary. By the way, day one is going quite well. At this rate, we're going to be able to give you the best visuals and models imaginable. If you can support this project from me and the producers of Died Suddenly, please do so. It will revolutionize how the world sees the cyclical catastrophe may even be finally what convinces your friends and family to take it seriously. Link is below. Subscribe here for daily updates. We'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.